Hello everyone, you are watching the Simple Designers YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to see how to design this blob character illustration inside of Illustrator CC. We are going to use an amazing website to help us create these fancy curvy blob shapes. So without further ado, let's get started. So as I said before in the intro, we are going to use this amazing website blobmaker.com to help us create this uh, fancy blobby shapes as you see the user interface is pretty simple you have two sliders the first one is for the shape complexity the second one is for the contrast to be honest i don't know what's the meaning of contrast in this context but you get it you play with the settings until you get something that you like and you guessed it you have the generate a button to keep generating some random goodness each time you click it so once you have a shape that you like you just click the download button you have an svg file a vector file format that you can open straight away inside illustrator we just drag your file inside illustrator and there you have it so now that we have our shape inside illustrator we're gonna start designing the eye so let's select the ellipse tool and draw a small ellipse let's give it a white color then i'm gonna select this shape copy and paste in front then I'm gonna scale it down and give it a dark color to create the inside of the eye now I'm gonna use the same round shapes and duplicate them to create the light reflections inside the eye so once we have our eye completed we are gonna group everything together and also drag it to the left to create a duplicate now let's select them both align them to the center then align them to the center of this shape so we basically finished the eyes let's draw a mouth for our illustration as always i'm gonna select my ellipse tool and i'm gonna draw a round shape now i'm gonna select my direct selection tool and remove the top anchor point then i'm gonna select these two points and join them together to create this half ellipse of course uh, I'm going to round the borders and play with this shape a little bit to come up with something cute that fits the theme of this illustration. So now we need to add a stroke to our illustration. So I'm going to select this bottom shape, copy and paste in front. Then I'm going to swap the fill and stroke. I'm going to increase the stroke a little bit then I'm gonna give it a dark uh, color now we need to create the shadows so I'm gonna select this bottom shape I'm gonna also drag it to the left to create another duplicate then I'm gonna select it again and I'm gonna copy and paste in front to create another duplicate now I'm gonna select them both and select minus front option from the pathfinder window now I'm gonna give it a dark color decrease the opacity to create the shadow I'm gonna use the same technique to create another version of this shadow so I'm gonna all drag my shape to the left select my shape builder remove these unwanted parts and just keep this small portion I'm gonna also give it a darker color then I'm gonna use the same technique again and again so I'm gonna all drag my shape to the right it's time to create a highlight I'm gonna select this shape copy and paste in front then I'm gonna select them both and select my shape builder and remove these unwanted parts just keep this small portion give it a white color then decrease the opacity so we are basically going to use the same technique for the mouse to create the shadow so i'm gonna select this shape i'm gonna also drag it to the top now i'm gonna select this bottom one copy and paste in front then I'm gonna select these both objects together. I'm gonna use my shape builder and remove this portion. I'm gonna just keep this small portion and I'm gonna give it a dark color to create the inside shadow. Now I'm gonna create another type of highlight. So I'm gonna select my path, my stroke. I'm gonna go to object path and I'm gonna offset path. I'm gonna offset it to the inside. Now I'm gonna select my scissors, shortcut key C. I'm gonna cut this path, 
then I'm gonna ingroup it, ungroup it, or ingroup it. Then I'm gonna remove this portion. Just I just want this small portion, so I'm gonna round it and I'm gonna give it a white uh, color. Of course, I'm gonna decrease the opacity a little bit to make it look like a, a highlight. So our character looks a little bit empty. So let's add another type of highlight. I'm gonna select my ellipse tool and I'm gonna draw this shape. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna round I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Then I'm gonna warp it, I think. So I'm gonna go to effect warp arc. Okay. Then I'm gonna warp it a little bit to make it a little bit dynamic. I'm gonna expand appearance and rotate it. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the same color as this two shapes here. Then I'm gonna play with this arrangement to make the character looks cute. So we basically finished our character. I'm gonna select my rectangle. I'm gonna draw a background. So I'm gonna give it a green uh, color. I'm gonna lock the selection Now I'm gonna group my character and align it to the center of the artboard Time to play with our website again to generate a random shape to use it as a background for our illustration Just something curvy dynamic and unique Back inside Illustrator, I'm gonna use my shape give it a white color, then I'm gonna decrease the opacity a little bit, then I'm gonna send it to the back. As you see, the background is a little bit empty, so I'm gonna fill it with some random shapes. So I'm gonna select my ellipse tool again and draw some random shapes. I'm gonna decrease the opacity just a little bit to match the, the background. I'm gonna give my character a small shadow beneath it, to give it the impression of hovering. Now I'm gonna select my ellipse tool and try to draw some random shapes, some random sparkly looking shapes, just to emphasize a little bit on my background and make it unique. So this is the final design, just added a small grain texture effect. I'm gonna put a link for a video made by Cosmin where he explains this technique to add a texture effect to any type of illustration. So make sure to show him some love, check his video and if you wanna download this file, I'm gonna put a link for it in the description of this video. So that's it for me guys, hope that you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and as always keep it simple designers.